Hello and welcome to Bailey's. So, Pulsar have released a new update for the Pulsar C50. So anybody that owns the C50 from the early ones to the ones now, you can now do this update and it can add the ballistics and a, a few other little updates to the C50, bringing it more in line with what's out at the present moment in time. So the first job, obviously, I've just put this on the rifle today. This is a brand new Pulsar C50. I'm just gonna quickly zero. So, I'm just going to focus in my image down there. Oh, that's nice. All right. And what I'll do, I'll actually press record. So I'm going to start recording what is through my screen now. So all I'm going to do as my first job is to line up my barrel from front to back with the target um, which I can see and then I'm going to move the reticle onto the target so the idea of this is so if I press and hold here now I can click on zero in it's already got my ballistics entered there that you can see ADI 223 even though I'm now using Hordeny click on there, click on zero in, it's going to zoom back out, then I'm going to zoom it back in again, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to look through and line up my barrel to there, which is about right, and you can see that I'm, a, I'm, I'm basically bore sighting the barrel onto the big round target on the right that you can see there. So uh, it's not too far off. So we're going to move the red cross to what I've lined the target up with, which is there. And I'm going to press and hold, press and hold, zero and coordinate, coordinates saved. So now I've done that, we're going to keep this recording so you can see the target. Uh, I've cleaned this rifle because of moving on to Hornady ammunition, so it's been cleaned. So we'll pop some of these in. These are the 55 grain Hornady Varmint Express. Nice little ballistic tip. So we're just going to quickly take a shot on target, see where it goes, and then focus it in from there. So <coughs> this is a Cadex Defence. Uh, seven stars in 223. So you've now got what I can see there, and we can see the center of the target as well. Let's see if we can get that red dot visible. The light's not the best. There you go. Okay, okay, so I'm getting locked in nice and comfortable. And we're just going to aim center of target here. As you can see, that bullet has actually gone high and right. We'll drop one more in. Yep, that's a definite high and right. So, we're going to go back onto the zero in screen. Here. Zero in there, zero in there. Magnify in again. Time 14. Put the, that in the centre of there. And there we go. So now it's froze. I can move that across and then up to the bullet stripes which are there. Okay, press and hold again. Press and hold. Make sure save my coordinates. And again. And again. And then we've got the reticle back. So now when we get onto target. I believe I've just knocked the bull out. I believe we've just knocked the bull out again. So as you can see, that is how quick and easy it is to zero. So this is an MPBR zero. So I've said about this before, maximum point blank range. 
it makes setting up digital rifle scopes a lot easier because you're not trying to zero on a target 100 yards away with a digital scope and it means that when you're out shooting you're on a 200 yard zero as well as a 55 yard zero so anything you point your gun at at that distance it's going to be a humane shot so i really can't grumble at that that is absolutely superb uh, i shall turn you around so the first two shots went there that was my bore sight shots and then my next two shots have both gone through the ball so i'm very happy with that uh, what i'm going to do i've got the 200 yard targets just there i'm going to go up onto the hill up the top uh, just take a shot at the 200 yard gong and make sure it's absolutely bang on then then we'll have a look at the ballistics and see how that ties in so we are now up on the hill looking down at the 200 yard gong so this is where i confirm this rifle zeroed bang on at 200 yards uh, which would be ideal i'll record through the scope as well so you can see what i'm seeing and then um, part of the new update is the ballistics app from Pulsar. I have already entered the ballistic data for the 55 grain Varmint Express uh, 223. Um, so we're literally just going to go on the fly and shoot for three and 400 yards just from the data off the box. So basically the data that is on the Pulsar app because they've actually got all the bullet data including the BCs, the speeds and all that sorts of stuff. So we shall do it so you can see. So if I press record now, no, that's not record, that's night vision mode. If I press record now, so that's now recording. Down range, you can see the 200 yard gongs all freshly painted. We'll zoom in on those, focus them up a touch. There you go, that's nice. So they're all nice and clear, and nice and clean. Um, as you're looking at this interface as well, you will see bottom right the new battery symbols with nice clear uh, information on your battery status, which is ideal as well. So, 200 yards, we're going to go for the bottom gong, which is on this main body here. So we're going to get nice and comfortable, lock the rifle in, so the rifle's pointing naturally at the target without any undue physical effort. And now you can see from that 55 yard zero, 200 yards, that is dead center on there. So that is absolutely perfect. We'll put one on the top just to confirm. Locking in again. Absolutely bob on. So we know that's absolutely perfect. So what we'll do, keeping everything in camera, we shall go down to 300 yards, which is down here. So now we can focus that in. So that's 300 yards. You can see I've got a collection of targets down there. Uh, I believe the ballistics is turned off at present. So you'll see me now go into the menu, scroll down to ballistics and turn the ballistics on. So now the ballistic data is turned on. So from your normal screen that you can see now, I can one press, go onto the ballistics there, it's already in yards, I can scroll the wheel and go 300 yards please, come off that and you can see a second red cross below my main red cross. So if this is correct, I should be able to put that second red cross on the middle of that gong. Absolutely perfect. As you can see, that's gone there. We'll see if we can hit the uh, special target. No, went underneath. Give it a bit more. There you go. So we hit the special target. So that's worked out to that speed, out to that distance. How many rounds we got left? We can go to 400 yards which is down here, focus that in, there we go, one click again, dial up to 400, which is there, 
and you can see that that second reticle is there again, aim in the middle of this gong. In the centre. Go for this one. Perfect. Right, I'm going to have to finger feed one in now. And we'll push our luck out to 500 yards. So we'll focus that in. It's a long way away and there is a bit of heat there off the mud. So one press, dial up to five. There we go. And you can see that red marker has appeared. Now hopefully this will work. There you go. I mean, I can't say that's with factory, factory ammo uh, from the data that is already stored on the Pulsar Ballistics app. Yes, I missed the special target at 200 yards, but that's probably a bit of breeze or it was me. But so far, central at 200, central at 3, central at 4, and hitting the 500 yard gong. So, it works. It works and it works nicely. So, that will do me. I shall stop recording on here now. So that's nice and simple. So the, the actual um, update is easy to do. If you're connected to your scope and you go onto the standard um, um, Pulsar uh, app, it'll actually tell you that you've got an update available. You'll need to disconnect from your scope, click on that update, it'll download onto the app, then reconnect to the scope, and then it'll do the update for the scope and then you can download the uh, Pulsar Ballistics app and you connect to it via Bluetooth. So it all works really, really well. So yeah, there you go, it works. There's nothing else to say really.